Hello world of YouTube and welcome to a January as January continuation because every channel in January seemingly has the same routine. They do some year end wrap up if they don't do it in December before pillaging forth and telling you about the year ahead. And I'm going to be doing the same ass thing while also focalizing it into talking about the rest of my January as January in the fashion of what I would do called the update. Now, unlike most updates where I just talk about how I felt about the last month with the state of the channel, I'm going to talk about my thoughts on 2022 as a whole with my content creation. I was happy with it. I was happy with a lot of it. Uh, as always, stuff kind of falls through the cracks and um, things kind of end up on the cutting room floor. But by and large, I liked a lot of what I made. I thought that the specials I decided to pull together uh, came together pretty well. I'm happy with Pocket Project, I'm happy with, in general, my content output for the year. And my whole goal for 2023 is to continue on that train, uh, pretty much. But before we get into the broad talks of the year, let's talk about the month in update fashion. My plans for the month while playing a game. And the game in question is going to be Splatoon 3. We're going to be splitting up each portion of this video by game type, essentially. And I'm going to play Splatoon while I talk to you all about these ideas. Now, obviously, uh, we're in the middle of January. Uh, but again, it's a january as January. Every channel has the same shtick every January. Oh, I've never played this level before. This would be fun. Um... We did the list week, we wrapped up 2022's listening log, and now we're going to do 2023 hype this week. If you guys saw the socials, you know, today I'm going to be doing this state of the channel thing. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing my 2023 hype stuff I'm going to be, stuff I'm excited for in, in the upcoming year as far as music and games are considered. Um, and we're going to do a redacted, but a redacted that very much... Has, falls in line with some of my themes that I want to do this year as far as giving stuff that's I put on the back burner a second chance to thrive. Um, in the case of discussing my admittedly kind of bloated sophomore al album, I just dropped my third album, fourth full length release. Let's get reflective on where I've been and talk about uh, making my second album better. From a, from a rearranging standpoint. Fuck, that dude got me real good. Which will be coming out on Thursday before launching a channel trailer. You know, I haven't updated my channel trailer since I first came back on the channel, like, more prominent on the internet back in, like, 2017, 2018. Or, actually, it was in 2018. So, I figured I'd re-update the channel trailer. You know, it's been five years. I'm in a completely different place than I was five years ago. Better time than ever, right? Next week, we're going to be getting back into re your regularly scheduled programming by bringing back Need for Speed Underground, finishing up loose threads of 2022. Uh, we're almost done with that game. I don't know if we'll finish it this month, but we'll definitely finish it at the beginning of next month at the latest. Um, we're also going to be Sort of making 22, 2022 adjacent content by discussing a Robin story in celebration of a game that wasn't all that well received upon release, Gotham Knights, by talking about a Robin story I've been collecting in the background called The Joker's Wild. It's a... I don't, remember, I don't know what era of Batman it's from, but it's an older comic story. It's a tiny little four-story comic. Oh, I'm gonna die. And uh, we're gonna be talking about that next week. I'm also going to be doing a classic breakdown, a classic album breakdown, on an album that ties into Pocket Project, because again, why not make this month a little more self-involved than broadly involved by talking about an album that inspired part of Pocket Project in the form of uh, the song that 
The album has a song that I did a remix of with Running. Um, we'll also have Rachel's Game Corner coming back next week. I don't know if we're going to do It Takes We lost big time. I don't know if we're going to do It Takes Two. Uh, we may take a break from that to start the year off with something different. Uh, if we don't uh, do It Takes Two, we'll probably do Mario Party 2. Because I have that. Rachel's been wanting to play it, so why not play it for the channel? And then we're going to close out the month and this section with uh, a tier time. Because tier time's not over. I've got ideas of shows I'm going to bring back this year and give them like a season two. But tier time's been doing well. So why not do one tier time that's similarly to the Joker's Wild and Lab Cab. Just kind of talked about something from last year a little more, a little more broadly. Or tribute to something last year a little more broadly. But talking about phase four of the MCU. A phase that's been very meddling with its reception. There's been some highs, but it's definitely been... A transitional period for that cinematic world. Figured why not break it down, talk about my favorites and least favorites that that phase has brought to the table. I've made MCU content in the past, why not continue on that path? By doing it a tier time on the stuff from Phase 4. Evidently, I did not finish <clears throat> talking about my Twitch stuff for the, for the month. Uh, or the take that I used I didn't actually record, so... Here's a little in the editing bay post recording of my Twitch stuff. One of my big goals for Twitch this year is to kind of just keep it simple, keep it stripped back, just get back to basics, get back to what I liked, or like just ease into, ease into the, the platform without any big, huge events. And I'm not doing any game any days or marathons this month. I'll still be doing a lot of that this month, like I'll talk about in the upcoming year portion. But we're starting simple, we're starting real simple. We're going to do, um, oh damn, me, me and that dude, tr I traded with Blue Sky. We're going to finish up MGS3, you know, another thread from 2022, sort of coming to a close, and that'll close out the trilogy of that. You know, one of the things I plan on doing this year on Twitch is doing uh, these trilogies. We're continuing to explore more trilogies that I'm familiar with and unfamiliar with to varying degrees, uh, and MGS is going to be coming to a close. I'll be doing a buffer story game after that before going into another trilogy. Um, and the buffer game after MGS3 will be me revisiting a game from my childhood that I haven't played since I was a kid. You know, Stray came out last year. It was a big, uh, big hit. Big Orange Cats in gaming once again. So to celebrate Orange Cats in gaming, I'm going to be revisiting Blanks the Time Sweeper, the original Xbox classic that I haven't played since I was a kid, and I'm going to revisit, have some fun with, hopefully you'll have fun with me, uh, which will definitely be what will take up the end of this month into the beginning of next month as far as the the classic revisit or the, the gem from my childhood revisited that I'll be doing um, in tandem with those in place of Elden Ring because, again, we're putting Elden Ring on a personal hold. It'll be on the VOD channel, which would be more the home for it in between doing... Um, other long-form games, or in between bringing it back, you know, just taking a break from it. I'm going to be doing uh, GTA 3, diving back into Liberty City. You know, I want to I wanna bring back KOTOR and Far Cry as well, but I figured I would start with a game that I feel like is always going to be kind of in the forefront of people's minds because people hold those PS2-era games to high regard. But uh, I'm going to be g g diving back into Liberty City coming through more of the game, getting farther in the game, and hopefully beating it, not maybe this month, but in the coming months, you know, it'll be the, the, the big, bold, open world game I revisit, or I play through, again, sort of giving a second chance, sort of a mantra that I'll be talking about throughout the year, um, and along with that, I'll also be introducing something else that I'll talk to, or talk about in the, in the broad plans for the year, uh, bringing Finish Friday's to the streams, you know, giving my Saturday special slot a little bit different of a flavor and bringing the Finish Fridays over to the streams. And I'll be starting with a game whose playthrough turned 10 last year. We definitely fucking won this. With Donkey Kong 64, I'll be bringing that back, picking up where I left off in the penultimate world, trying to finish it and the game at large uh, before jumping into another Finish Fridays game. I'll also be doing a climb and maybe a road to victory, but for sure a climb on Mortal Kombat Trilogy. You know, I love Mortal Kombat. I don't think I've done a climb on a Mortal Kombat game. Oh, well, I did Deception. But on a 2D Mortal Kombat game, I haven't done a climb on yet. So I figured, why not do 
the one that I have an easier way to play than other games in the series uh, with Trilogy, the N64 port of the arcade, or of the, of the Compendium series. And that'll be kind of where I round out my Twitch stuff for the month. Now let's go ahead and transition into Salmon Run, where I will talk about my broad plans for the year. Now, like I kind of alluded to with uh, other aspects of this video, one of my big goals for the year are second chances, bringing ideas back that I either failed at completing or left. I left on the cutting room floor in the creation process. And this comes in, in many facets. You know, while I've done themes with redacted, even the theme of my redacted by and large is going to be second chances. You know, I've got other playthroughs that I failed at, like my NFL Blitz breaking the curse run and the Pokemon randomizer run run nuzlocke. First, I haven't done a Pokemon playthrough on the channel in a long time, so I figured that'd be the best time to do that would be for that, or with that playthrough, and it'd be another way to bring back the, the second chances story or idea. I'm also going to bring an arc into the fray that was supposed to be done during the year of the spider. You know, I'm going to do a, a tier time that was supposed to be done uh, during the 2012 was a long time ago shtick. I might, if I have time, finish the album I was working on when I decided to do Pocket Project instead. Obviously, I talked about the Finish Fridays moving to um, the streams just because, again, to give that concept a second chance, and it'll be on Fridays. And one of the things I do intend to finish that I also didn't really get a chance to finish was my Doom 64 playthrough. You know, that won't really fall into the Finish Fridays because it's literally just the last level the last boss of the game why can't i pick this up hello oh i can't pick it up because uh how do i help you do i shoot you to help you what do i do what's going on why oh okay but like i said the finish friday is moving to the streams is going to be kind of a way to not only give my saturday special stuff more time to to experiment give it more room for experimentation which is something i do intend to do you know, not only am I going to keep the playthroughs alive on my Saturdays, I'm going to be, uh, like with the pocket playthroughs and stuff, the pocket adventures, showing off more portable games that I really liked growing up, and keeping Rachel's Game Corner alive. I'm hoping to do other conversational style stuff on the Saturday special, give it more of a hodgepodge style, that special feel, you know what I mean? And in tandem with doing Second Chances, I also want to do sequel stuff, you know, I want to do another Ska record in the summer. Speaking of the summer, I like doing the Wave Race Marathon. I want to do another micro marathon of a Nintendo franchise in the form of Excite Bike and do an Excite Bike Summer Splash or Summer Smash instead of a Summer Splash. I also want to do a Star Fox video over the summer to celebrate that game series as a whole. And actually, sooner than all of those, I'm also going to be doing a Wubrowary sequel. So February this year will be another Wu Tang celebration, uh, which is kind of timely, unintentionally so. Because the uh, the the show, the Wu Tang show, is getting its final season this year, so it'd be a good time to kind of a good way to kind of cap off those goodies by doing Wu Brewery once again. I cannot pick up these stupid eggs, and I don't know why. I think my connection just really is that ass cheeks. Um, I also want to do season twos to tier time and I love this level you know I, I loved doing tier time last year and I don't want to stop doing it so I figured we're not give it a season two this year while bringing back a show that definitely fell on the back burner unfortunately with I love this level I love doing that show there's just a lot of behind the scenes work to, to it that I'd like to actually give time to this year um oh outside of that obviously like I talked about in the gaming in the in the video portion i want to do some 2022 or 2022 loose end tying up with uh the need for speed playthrough uh, i also want to do and it takes two i also want to do a game in a day that i was going to do in december sometime this year probably in february while the while the weather is still going to be more than likely cold along with finishing up that pocket adventure on rocket power dream scheme obviously i'm going to keep the playthroughs alive Modified Mondays is going to be still a staple. I've got some big playthroughs I'm going to be doing uh, in, the, in the coming months in the form of some more RPG-style stuff, along with maybe some other wacky ideas that I have to do uh, modified playthroughs of. But I hope that you'll enjoy. Also, with Redacted, obviously, like I said, we're going to be doing the second chance uh, ideas. So it's going to be a little more loose than, like, the year of the debut or the pop-focused ones that I did. But um, I'm also going to be doing, hopefully, a show that I'd like to do 
um, in the future called Port Comparison. It's another gaming-related show that I'd like to do uh, involving... That I kind of teased a version of with the Turtles Breakdown. Uh, that was kind of a backdoor version of that show where I talk about sort of ver a version of a game that I like and it's port on a different console, whether portable or otherwise. Doing the portable marathon also kind of inspired the show by and large. Just discussing the pros and cons of certain games and how they translated to different mediums. Um, I also do have some more bonus seasons in mind for the Saturday special. You know, I want to do just a, a hodgepodge variety. You know, obviously Shovel Knight King of Cards is the first bonus season up to bat. But I've got other games that I want to I wanna revisit or bring a new idea to the table with a bonus season that I hope that you'll enjoy. Obviously also... Discog reviews are going to be going strong. Uh, I've got a lot of ideas for stuff I want to do for that show. There's other ideas that I'm kind of toying with. Like, I don't want to do 2013 was a long time ago, but I do want to do uh, other versions of similar ideas for revisiting years in the past. Uh, I want to do another special in April involving an older year in time, you know, stuff like that. And generally just bring out more horizon expanding you know last year one of the things i learned was that like sometimes committing to a random off kilter idea or off the cuff idea lended to some of my favorite stuff that i made and i kind of want to keep that energy alive you know obviously one of the other things i'm going to keep doing this year's cash boy shake and i love doing that show we're going to keep doing that show and i hope that you'll enjoy watching that in the future <laughs> There's obviously other segments that I'm going to keep going, like ranking the songs, classic breakdowns, expectations, reality. I'm going to experiment with expectations, reality this year as well, along with doing other album reflections and the like. You know, just trying to keep the variety that I that I kind of brought to the table last year and harness it a little less chaotically. You know, one of the things that I, I learned when making the show was that sometimes off-the-cuff ideas can be great, but if you harness them into something better, it could be truly a great experience, and I hope to bring that to the table, you know, and I know that I'm talking about this like it's a big old universe operation, but I mean, you know, I take this shit seriously, but in tandem with that sort of harnessing and reining in, one of the big changes I'm going to make to the channel, or to my internet presence as a whole that I'm sure will might upset a, a small portion of you, is that I'll be putting a hold on uh, my Patreon, partially because I want to focus on the community aspect of my channel more, you know, I want to keep... I want to keep doing, you know, viewer appreciation month and stuff, but I want to kind of have a more uh, utilization of the of the, the the people here. You know, while I'm very appreciative of my friends that have been joining me on the Patreon, I feel like the community on there isn't growing to the capacity that I was hoping it would. You know, I wasn't quite expanding out in the ways that I, I thought I might by doubling down on there. And, you know, it's it's been something that's that leaves more of a linger in the back of my mind than it does a gratification or at least a, a self-satisfaction you know i like that you guys want to support me through that medium those that do but i feel like i'm letting you down by not giving you the same variety on there that i do um on here and on the other facets of the internet so i want to kind of channel that energy into the second channel you know the vod channel i want to keep my vods alive on there but i may transition stuff like the update over to there you know, I want to talk about uh, doing not necessarily other content on there. I want to let that be a hub for that. But I want to give facets that worked on the Patreon life for a broader audience. You know, if I do ever get lucky enough to pop off and get an actual traction, I'd be open to reopening the Patreon up again. But in its current status, you know, I feel like... Some of the polls don't really get the engagement that I'd hope to. You know, I feel like I would do more for the community had I just stripped away that and brought it more to the to the people that do watch on here. You know, again, I'm thankful for those that have been supporting me on there for the last couple of years, and I'm never gonna not be appreciative of that. And I don't want you to, to anyone on there to think that I'm not grateful in any capacity. But I feel like the platform just isn't something that I was ever committing the amount of time to it that I felt like I needed to, given that it was a place that was getting monetary support and the like, and I felt, I feel like while I love that there are people out there that want to support me on there, I feel like I'm wasting your guys' money by not 
posting on there as much as I feel like I should. And maybe I'm in my head about it and I'm wrong, but that's just how I felt about it. You know, I felt like it was a platform that I just wasn't never giving the love to that I that I felt like it should. And uh, I'd rather make dope shit on here without the stress of letting people down. You know what I mean? Uh, I've loved making the playlists on there, and I'll keep making playlists and putting them out on, like, Twitter and stuff. And I may transition to, like, bringing my patrons that are also on Twitter into, like, a circle on there. And just giving them the goodies that I was giving you guys, that I was giving them on Patreon. Just as a thank you for continuing to support me and being there and being in my corner and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I definitely, one of the big things I want to focus on this year, if it wasn't apparent, is, is controlling the chaos. Harnessing it in a healthy fashion. And I feel like that'll be a step in the direction, in the right direction for me. But... Yeah, that, that's pretty much that's pretty much all I got for for this month and the year abroad. Hopefully, you're excited for what I'm going to be making. Hopefully, you're excited for the changes I'm making to the channel and my internet presence. If you are, give it a like. Sound off in the comments what you're excited for, uh, all that sort of stuff. Tomorrow, I'll be talking about the albums and games that I'm hyped for this year. Thank you again so very much for watching. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing. I drop four videos a week, and I stream two to three times a week on Twitch. Um, I also am very active on Twitter and Instagram, you know, I'm a very social media, I'm a, I'm a very anti-social socialite, or reclusive socialite, and, um, yeah, you guys are the best, I couldn't be more appreciative of, uh, a fandom, uh, community that I do have on here, you know, the, the, the love that I've been seeing on List Week was really great, and I'm glad that, like, my return didn't go on deaf ears, I'm glad you guys seemed to like what I had brought to the table, as well, as far as my favorites of the year. Um, yeah, let's make 2023 awesome, dudes. I'm gonna go, though. Thank you again so very much for watching. I've been Viral Rack. You guys have good days, lessons, situations. And I'll see you another day.